It's all of these things we do to protect and guard ourselves. And God is saying, I'm moving all of that out of the way so you can feel again. Amen. How many know to live is to be hurt? Amen. You got to be hurt sometime. If you want to live for real, you got to be hurt sometime. You got to be vulnerable. You got to open yourself up. You got to take chances. You have to take risks. And this is what God wants for us to be able to feel again. If Jesus could do it, amen, allow his betrayer to kiss him, how much more does God want us to open ourselves up by faith in God? Not faith in man, not faith in the system, but faith in God. And so he opens us up to feel again so that we can enjoy life, so that we can feel God, so that we can love God, so we can love men. We can love ourselves properly, amen, and we can experience all that God has for us, amen. And so God does all of these wonderful things for us. And so the question is, if God has done all of these wonderful things for us, why is it that we are not moving in everything that God has called us to move into? If I have his heart, my heart is gone. If I have his mind, my mind is gone. If I have his, his affections, his intentions, his passions, then what is stopping me from moving into everything that God has for me, amen? What is it that's blocking us, amen? He's already done all the work. He's already changed us. He's already transformed us. He's regenerated us. So what is it that's blocking us and stopping us from doing the things that God has called us to do, amen? So the Bible says, that within us, amen, God gives us a new man. He gives us a new nature, but also within us is what? The old nature, amen? And so we have the new nature within us, but we also have this old nature inside of us, amen? Our natural man is the old fleshly man, our fallen nature, amen? It's unsaved, it's at home in this world, we're comfortable, we're, we're living with our guy, we're comfortable with living with our girl, we're comfortable with just kind of dibbling, dabbing, doing whatever we want to do, okay? So we're at home in this world, I'm at home with, with my popularity, my fame, and my this and my that, and we have a sense of independence from God. I've really been making it on my own this whole time. We have a sense of independence from God, amen? And so that's this natural man that's within us. And then we have this spiritual man that God has made alive inside of us, amen? And so the old nature and the new nature are together. It's saved. It feels like an alien in this world, amen. How many of you ever felt like that? Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not at home here, amen. And it wants to submit to God. And so we have this old man within us and we have this new man within us. And what we feed grows, but what we starve begins to die. And so oftentimes when there are things manifesting in our life that we don't want to see, there are things manifesting in our life that are not in alignment with who I really am, with, with the integrity, that the, the values, the standards that I've set for myself, it's because there's something at war on the inside. 